here's a perfect example, you know, this being one of our favorite fast food restaurants, right? We know this. Uh, Ian, give us a little, um, give us an update. What's going on? Thanks, Dan. So one of my favorite restaurants, Chick-fil-A, has become the third largest restaurant chain in the United States. Now, the restaurant chain has raked in a total of $10.46 billion coming into the 2019 year. It fell behind Starbucks at number two and McDonald's at number one, all of this according to a ranking in Nation's Restaurant News. Now, this ranking also tells us that sales were up 16.7% for the year for Chick-fil-A, making this the fifth consecutive year of double-digit sales growth. And add about 2,400 locations, and we have one of the fastest-growing restaurant chains at the moment. Now, this is impressive considering that they're not only not open on Sundays, but that they're also under fire for their approach to same-sex marriage because of their Christian foundation. In fact, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed the Save Chick-fil-A bill, which protects the religious freedoms of the company from government intervention. Now, this will help protect Chick-fil-A in one state, and we can only hope that other states will soon follow suit and protect all restaurants from government intervention. Great stuff. You know, uh, as we think about the attacks, how about that the state of Texas needs to pass a piece of legislation to protect religious freedoms from Chick uh, of Chick-fil-A. How pathetic is that? I mean, think about how pathetic that is. You know, we've got uh, a whole segment, small minority segment of people in this country that are attacking, attacking Chick-fil-A. And the, then we have this larger segment of our population that believes the will of a minority, the will of a few, ought to be dictating to the will of the majority of people. And Chick-fil-A, in spite of all the attacks, in spite of six days a week as opposed to seven, quickly becoming the third, third largest uh, uh, chain in the country because God will not be mocked. Well, that doesn't mean anything to a non-believer that doesn't believe in the word of God and the inerrant word of God. But God says he will not be mocked in Galatians. So let's be, uh, we can use Chick-fil-A as this wonderful example of go ahead, knock yourself out. But God will not be marked, uh, mocked and amazing Lee, the Kathy family of Chick-fil-A, uh, are hanging on to these principles even through third generation of a family as that is being raised up now. It's amazing.